In today's video, I'm going to show you a money play against deep half, cover three invert, Mabel style coverage that is really going to help you in those situations where you feel like you need a big play against cover three, but they're deep halfing their outside guys. It's kind of hard to do that. So if you've never been to my channel before, my name's Cody. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. And I'm going to be breaking down a play from um, a playbook that I actually wrote an offensive ebook on and a defensive ebook on. Um, it's basically a, basically a bundle guide. And you can pick that up in the description if you'd like to. Um, I wrote an entire ebook on the Arizona Cardinals air raid offense and the 46 defense, which you see a lot of pro players using. Uh, we've been writing that pretty much the entire season, um, but utilizing the nickel 335, nickel 335 Y, nickel normal, big nickel over G, and then a, occasionally some 3-4 bear and 4-6 bear as well. So if you want to get that ebook, that link is in the description. It's my Madden 21 competitive guide. It's both um, the offense and the defense together. So you get both for the price of one. Now, um, also, if you're near the channel, I post videos every single day like this that are designed to help people get better at Madden. So I'd highly encourage you to subscribe. Um, I post videos every day, one at uh, 2 o'clock, one at 4 o'clock, one at 6 o'clock, one at 8 o'clock, and one at 10 o'clock uh, p.m. Eastern time. Typically, we live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern. So, uh, and, and all you got to do to subscribe is just hit the hit the button at the, uh, at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to talk about the gun cluster, and this is actually um, very relevant uh, in light of the latest cards that have dropped in MUT, uh, with the ability to have just faster players, better players. Um, it's good, the faster players you have, the better this is going to work. Um, but basically, it's the gun cluster strong, and it's the mesh post play. It's a really, really good play. Um, it's very versatile. It can do a lot. Um, it's probably my favorite, one of my top two or three plays in the game. And the cluster continues to get better as the year has gone on, in my opinion. But anyways, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put both of my outside corners in uh, deep half zones. Now, most of the time when you run the gun cluster, you would want to have the, the bunch or the three wide receivers to the wide side of the field. In this instance, we actually want those three wide receivers to be on the uh, short side of the field. It's going to give us a little bit more room for this. And now all we're going to do is we're just going to take uh, Adams and streak him. That's literally all we're doing here. And we're going to hike the ball. And what you'll notice is if you watch this tight end route, um, that streak's going to pull all the routes upfield. And if it's man coverage, you would want to just check down to your drag or your post route. So if they run man, just check down to your drag or your post. Right, it doesn't don't make this too complicated. Uh, one of those two routes will win if it's man. If it's man press, um, oftentimes that tight end can, can occasionally get over the top of that, but just, just use those two routes. If it's man, I would not, um, unless obviously they're running wide open, I wouldn't stress about trying to hit anything. Now, if it's zone coverage, what you'll see is if they deep path those outside guys, those outside corners use the same settings, the same adjustment. But if you watch this, uh, Adams is going to take a lot of the zones with him, and it's going to leave this window where you could basically get a one-play touchdown if they're deep halfing. Um, I really like this because a lot of people deep half against me. A lot of people do because they don't want to get burned in a cover three, right? That's why I think this formation is actually one of the best formations in the game right now because of what it can do to zone. And a lot of people are shifting to zone coverage because the better route running receivers, there's better man beaters now um, just based on some of the latest cards. But as you can see here, I mean, this is a one play touchdown against cover three invert every single time. Now, what a lot of people are going to do is they're going to try to take this away with zone drops. And this is why I would recommend running this play to the wide side of the field. So uh, real quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my zone drops. And while I'm doing that, I want to talk to you for a short second here about my text message membership. Now, this is 100% free to you guys. I, it's something I do for my community. Um, and pretty much all of my members are able to get a... Uh, get the text message membership. All you have to do to get it is just shoot me a text message. It's completely free to do that. Uh, my number's in the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's also in the description, and I'll give it to you later on uh, in the video. But, um, but, but basically, just shoot me a text message. Let me know you want to sign up. And what we do is every single week, I break down high-level, like pro-level Madden 21 offenses and defenses 
um, for you. So we've broken down in the past the big nickel over G, the A slot offset, the U trips from New England, all kinds of different things. So if you want to pick that up, and we we break down a new video every single week, and once you pick it up, you get the playlist with all of the videos. So you get all the videos as soon as you text in. So um, just shoot me a text. Let me know if you want to receive that or not. And obviously you can ask me any questions that you want. It is my personal uh, cell number. Anyway, um, this is zone drops with with the purples you saw. I believe I put the purples at either 20 yards or 25. And what you'll see is this is still going to get over the top of that. As you can see here, um, Robert Tunyon is running wide open. He's The, the zone drops aren't going to really affect this. Uh, at least it's been my experience. You might need to wait a little while longer for the ball to get over it. But these, uh, I'm going to show you 30-yard cloud flats as well. Um, and again, most people are going to think that's going to be taken away, right? Because you're going to they're going to have Mabel coverage in essence, where they're having an underneath, you know, take away the flat like the drag route, and then they have that over the top thing that's able to take that away. But as you see here, he, the zone he just drifts away from the zone drops, and you see how I'm able to throw it uh, even late into the play. Now um, I can also throw this earlier, and I want to show you this this window as well really quickly. So uh, cover three. And what we're going to do is we're going to do cloud flats. Now remember, those cloud flats are at 30 yards. So it's the furthest back that they can go, right? And what you'll notice here is if I do, if I run this play, you'll see that once he gets even, he's leaving. So I'm going to throw right over it. And as you see, I can get that swerve catch. Um, basically, what I'm doing, I click on the receiver. I'm swerving him to the left and to the right. And then rack catching that ball upfield to be able to get that, that uh, run after catch um, addition. Now, what if the defense runs cover two? You might ask, you know, what if they run cover two? Uh, because that has deep half safeties. The deep half safety should take um, – cover two does okay. Uh, I would say that cover two does okay just because the drop uh, of the cloud flat. Now, the one thing that I would say from a cover two perspective is you're going to have other things open um, as well. So if you have a swing route or something to be able to kind of keep that cloud flat from – just matching him basically um you should see right there he's going to get kind of outside and over the top of it um cover two i think does a pretty good job of taking away the route to um tunyon but it's going to leave other things open um it's, it's going to leave other things open your drag will be open um this route to Devonte adams will have a pretty good shot uh if you throw this you could pass this to the inside right there you see how that can get that can get pretty good positioning um, against the defense. The next thing is, I mean, if they press up out of cover two, you're going to have a lot better of a chance at hitting Robert Tunyon. Um, this little angled route, because of that press coverage, he's going to get over. You see there, you see how he gets over him, and then you're able to hit that over the cover two. Most times when people run cover two, that's what will happen. They'll press um, out of it. So, so just be aware of that. And that's, you know, that's why this play is just, it's just a good combination against zone coverage. You know, now one simple adjustment they can make to stop us is man him up, but that's going to leave them, you know, vulnerable over the middle of the field, obviously. So, you know, it's not going to be a, a it's not going to be a, you know, a one size fits all approach. Now, one thing you will notice is if I don't have the streak from Devonte Adams, I just want to show this real quick. If I run this without the streak, maybe I wanted to keep these mesh routes right you can still hit this without the streak as you see here um you, you don't have the capability at least in my opinion of being as consistent if you wanted a one play touchdown but you still can hit this right you still can hit this now the cover two is probably going to be able to take this away for the most part but what you'll see is in cover two you're able to hit these mesh routes these mesh routes come wide open um and what I mean by the mesh route, you really the, the two crossers that kind of settle up. Um, what you'll notice with this little route here is in zone coverage, these things are going to run and they're going to kind of sit in the zone. So you can feel pretty confident if you see zone coverage on these routes to just throw them against zone. Um, now, if you think it's man to man, like if they're showing you man to man, I would recommend just redragging them. You don't have to do that, but I would recommend it. But what you'll see is against press man, these drags will oftentimes get unbumpable. And as you see right there, Valdez Scantling will oftentimes beat his man coverage because of the auto motion. The auto motion is going to get him unbumpable, uh, which is really, really nice. So uh, those are just some tools in your tool belt. Uh, but realistically, like if you see cover two, 
in that corner on the left side, if he's off coverage like that, you can actually kind of throw this almost back shoulder. If they don't have anything underneath it, you can actually hit um, hit this route. And let me show you what I'm talking about. And this is just, again, this is just mainly if they're in this type of an alignment that you're seeing where they're able to back off of the ball. You see that once he gets outside, you can kind of lead him to the outside and just possession catch it underneath that cloud flat. If if that if that looks like an open wow, if you have a guns you need gunslinger to do that. But if you have gunslinger, it's gonna work for you. Now if they press out of a cover two, um, I just want to show you all these different variances and ways you can run this play because I think this really does help with a lot of what people are doing right now. But as you can see, you can get him. I threw it a little bit. I threw it probably a split second too early there. And this is why you almost really do kind of need the wide side of the field uh, for this specific play. But what you'll see here is is once he once he gets behind the corner, that's really what you're looking for. So right there, and I'm just getting this out there. And as you see, click on secure catch it, swerve him. When you swerve the receiver, it helps with the um, the depth of of everything. Now, what if they run a straight cover three? Okay, I do want to show you this. So what if they run a straight cover three, right, on this? You'll see that you'll have a pretty good chance at hitting Devontae Adams either deep or still hitting this route. You see that if, this, if it is a cover three, the outside third will run, and he will take that. So what will happen is, is let's say that they're um, – let's say most people when they run cover three – um, if they're facing like if they're if they're gonna run a cover three like this, it's gonna auto flip. So that cover three strength side, that safety deep blue is gonna come from the left side. So if that happens, you can pass lead this route to the left side uh, for Devontae Adams, and it has a pretty good shot at being a one play touchdown against cover three if that's what they end up running on you. So that's where the the idea for the streak comes into play here. But again, you can still hit everything else. You can still hit your check down reads and all this stuff. This is just, as you see here, I mean, it's, and, and, and late, later on in the play, they will obviously leave Tunyon to go get, you know, whoever. But what I wanted you to see was just that that could be an option. Um, it's not something that you want to bank on necessarily. It's, you really want to get good at throwing this, calling this play, you, you know, cover three is sound against this one play. It's not sound against a lot of other plays that are in this formation. And, You'll notice that from a cover three, if I'm running cover three, right, if, if that's what we're running, um, these underneath routes to the receivers are going to be wide open as well. So you can, if you want to have a little bit more big play potential, I would streak Adams. If you want to have a little bit more of every down potential, I'd honestly just run this play as is. Um, you'll see that, you know, these routes will sit. You can playmaker them open if you wanted to. You could kind of give them to keep going. Um, you know, so, so these little routes will sit over the middle of the field. And what is good about that is they're going to be trying to go get your guy over the middle over there. And it's going to open up this middle pocket to hit that post route. So a lot of really good things from this play. I think this is one of the best plays in Madden right now because of all of the options it gives you. And just because again, a lot of people are running deep halves. A lot of people are running deep halves. So if you could call something like this and make them pay for using deep halves, now they're going to start second guessing themselves and they're going to really honestly probably give you even more openings to throw some of your other routes. So if you want to get the rest of the ebook on this, if you actually want to get the full scheme from the cluster, uh, you can just shoot me a text. I have it. It's in my text message membership. But if you wanted to get the full Arizona air raid offense, that is also in the description as well. Uh, you can pick it up. It's the Madden 21 competitive guide. Thank you guys so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video, and uh, we'll see you guys on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock right on my YouTube channel.